Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. In this presentation, let us show the solution to the MTOP 2024 Elimination Round for Grade 10 students. This is Part 2 of 5 Parts, Numbers 11 to 20. Let us begin with number 11. Which term in the expansion one third x squared plus z cubed raised to the ninth power contains z raised to nine. For our suggested solution, we're going to use the formula for the rth term of the binomial expansion a plus b raised to n. Any term can be obtained by getting the n combination r minus one times the first term a raised to n minus r minus 1 times the second term b raised to r minus 1. In the given binomial expansion, the second term is c cubed and we're looking for the term that contains z raised to 9. Therefore, the second term z cubed raised to r minus 1 must be z raised to 9. But z raised to 9 is c cubed raised to the third power. Hence, we have c cubed raised to r minus 1 is equal to z cubed raised to the third power. From this equation, we can have r minus 1 is equal to 3. Adding 1 to both sides, then r is equal to 4. Hence, the term that contains z raised to the ninth power is the fourth term. Number 12. Find the constant term of the expansion x over y minus y over x raised to the fourth power. For our suggested solution, let us write the expansion of the given binomial since it only has five terms. So we have x over y raised to the fourth power minus 4 times x over y raised to the third power times y over x plus 6 times x over y squared times y over x squared minus 4 times x over y times y over x raised to the third power plus y over x raised to the fourth power. These are the five terms in the expansion of x over y minus y over x raised to the fourth power. We can observe that the third term results into a constant term such that we have the third term as equal to 6 times x squared over y squared times y squared over x squared. We see that x squared over x squared is equal to 1 and y squared over y squared is equal to 1. Hence, this is the constant term in the expansion and that is equal to 6. Number 13. If p of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 7x squared minus 3x, find p of negative one third. For our solution, let us substitute x is equal to negative one third. Then we have p of negative one third equals 3 times negative one third cubed plus 7 times negative one third squared minus 3 times negative 1 third. So we have 3 times negative 1 over 27 plus 7 over 9. Negative 1 third squared is 1 over 9 plus 1. Negative 3 over negative 3 is equal to 1. So we have negative 3 over 27 we're writing 7 over 9 with 27 as the denominator. We have 21 
over 27 and 1 is the same as 27 over 27. Then we have negative 3 plus 21, that's 18, plus 27, that is 45, over 27. And this simplifies to 5 over 3. 45 divided by 9 is 5, and 27 divided by 9 is 3. Number 14. What is the degree of the polynomial negative 2024x raised to 2025 plus 2025x raised to 2024 minus 2026? No solution is needed. By observation, we can say that the degree of the polynomial is 2025 since this is the largest exponent of a variable in the given polynomial. Number 15. If the quotient of the polynomial p of x is equal to 3x raised to the fifth power minus x raised to the fourth power, minus 12x cubed plus 19x squared minus 23x plus 13 is divided by 3x minus 1 is x raised to the 4th power minus 4x squared plus 5x minus 6. What will the quotient be when the same polynomial is divided by x minus 1 third? For our, for our suggested solution, we will just use the given information and since we know that if a polynomial is divided by ax plus b, in this case a is 3 and b is negative 1, the resulting quotients using synthetic division must be divided by 3. And since our new divisor now is x minus 1 third, what we're going to do is just to multiply each term of the quotient by 3. So we have 3 times x raised to the 4th power minus 4x squared plus 5x minus 6. Then the quotient would be 3x to the 4th power minus 12x squared plus 15x minus 18. Number 16. When a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus 3, the quotient is 4x squared plus 2x minus 5, and the remainder is 8. Find p of x. Here is our solution. We know that p of x is equal to q of x times d of x plus r of x where p of x is the polynomial, and that is the dividend, q of x is the quotient, d of x is the divisor, and r of x is the remainder. Substituting the values to get the polynomial p of x, since the quotient is 4x squared plus 2x minus 5, this is our q of x, and the divisor is x minus 3, then this is our d of x. The remainder is 8, then r of x is equal to 8. Multiplying 4x squared plus 2x minus 5 by x minus 3, we get 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 2x squared minus 6x minus 5x plus 15 plus 8. Simplifying and combining, combining similar terms, we get 4x cubed minus 10x squared minus 11x plus 23. 17. Find the remainder when x raised to 2013 minus 11x raised to 10, 
minus 21x raised to 7 plus 5 is divided by x plus 1. For our suggested solution, we're going to use the remainder theorem. In order to get the remainder, we will get p of negative 1. And that is negative 1 raised to 2013 minus 11 times negative 1 raised to 10 minus 21 times negative 1 raised to 7 plus 5. Negative 1 raised to 2013 is negative 1 since the exponent is odd. Minus 11 since negative 1 raised to 10 is positive 1 times negative 11. Plus 21 since negative 1 raised to 7 is negative 1 times negative 21 that is positive 21 plus 5. Then we have negative 12 plus 26. Then the final answer is 14. Then the remainder is 14 when the given polynomial is divided by x plus 1. Number 18. Find k such that x minus 2 is a factor of x raised to the 4th power minus kx squared plus k minus 1. For our solution, we're going to use the factor theorem. If x minus 2 is a factor of the given polynomial, then p of 2 must be equal to 0. So we have 2 raised to the 4th power minus k times 2 squared plus k minus 1 equals 0. Then we have negative 4k plus k equals negative 16 plus 1. Negative 4k plus k is negative 3k. Negative 16 plus 1 is negative 15. Dividing both sides by negative 3, we get k is equal to 5. Number 19. Find the polynomial function p of x of least degree, having 3 and negative 3 halves as roots, negative 1 as double roots, and p of 1 is equal to 5. Express p of x in factored form. For our suggested solution from the given information, we can form the equation or the function p of x equals a times x minus 3 since 3 is a root a root times x plus 3 halves since negative 3 halves is also a root times x plus 1 squared since negative 1 is a double root. In here, a will be the leading coefficient of the polynomial function. And since p of 1 is equal to 5, we can substitute p of x equals 5 and x is equal to 1 to get the value of a. We have 5 is equal to a times 1 minus 3 times 1 plus 3 halves times 1 plus 1 is squared. So we have 5 equals a times negative 2. 1 plus 3 halves is 5 halves. 1 plus 1 is 2 squared. That is equal to 4. Negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. We divide both sides by 5. We get 1 is equal to negative 4a. Now, dividing both sides by negative 4, we have a is equal to negative 1 fourth. Then, in factored form, we have p of x substituting a is equal to negative 1 fourth negative 1 fourth times x minus 3 times x plus 3 halves times x plus 1 squared. Number 20. The polynomial p of x equals x cubed plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6 has roots r, s, and t, where 
S is greater than R but less than T. What is the value of R plus S times T? For our solution, let us get the roots of the given polynomial using synthetic division. We have 1 coefficient of x cubed, 6 coefficient of 6x squared, 11 coefficient of 11x, and 6 coefficient or the constant term. By rational root theorem, we have the factor root positive, negative, negative 1, 2, 3, and 6. Let us begin with negative 1. So bring down 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 plus 6, that is 5. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5 plus 11, that is 6. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6 plus 6, that is 0. Hence, negative 1 is a root of the given polynomial, and the reduced equation is x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. We can factor this as x plus 2 times x plus 3 equals 0. Therefore, the other two roots are neg negative 2 and negative 3. In ascending order, we have negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Hence, S is equal to negative 2, R is equal to negative 3, and T is equal to negative 1. So we have R plus S times T equals negative 3 plus negative 2 times negative 1. And this is equal to negative 5 times negative 1 positive 5. That will be all for part 2. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids videos.